Meanwhile, the commissioner also met with the ambassador of Finland, Dr. Paul Keenan. The commissioner intimated the Finland ambassador on the activities of the state government to improve the education sector. The impact of the lockdown is that it has concentrated our minds very powerfully. And we've seen that if we haven't invested sufficiently to be able to improve education, and therefore this has made us now have the deliberate focus on ensuring that at least we provide you an equitable level playing ground for the children in the public school system who are in the demographic where they are usually from low income uh, backgrounds. And uh, so uh, some of the plans that we have going forward. The major one is the infrastructure. She also stressed the importance of having a meaningful relationship that can lead to support and development of the sector. I mentioned our major focus on relationships. We are very keen, and that was why I was happy when you came with her, because I know Finland, and um, I really appreciate our relationship, because I know you can teach us a lot, especially about teaching. The Finland ambassador assures the state government of the country's support. Lagos has been identified also as a priority in a way that says it's country inside of the country. <laughs> the size and the market and also easiness of, of doing uh, everything here is fairly safe in, in this uh, you know, uh, worsening uh, security situation in uh, Nigeria. But you know, uh, I can see that Lagos is still uh, doing uh, quite well. No big news in and that's really good for business. The meeting between the Lagos State Ministry of Education and the Finnish government is expected to yield positive results in many areas of the Lagos State education sector.